What if our understanding of human history was incorrect? Imagine a breakthrough so profound and revolutionary that it compels researchers to re-evaluate the origins of our species itself. That is precisely what happened when a set of odd footprints was discovered. They are so old that they might be able to rewrite the history of humanity by tens of millions of years. Historians are revising textbooks, skeptics are scratching their heads, and archaeologists are perplexed by this revelation. So where exactly were these mysterious prints found, and why are they causing such a massive stir in the scientific community. A strange pair of footprints was found in 2002 on the island of Crete, close to the village of Trakilos. They were initially disregarded, dismissed as oddities of the geology, or misinterpreted by those who discovered them. They were ignored by the scholarly community and remained in obscurity for more than 10 years. However, everything changed in 2017. The evolution of vertebrates, of the backboned animals, from their earliest origins up to kind of the origin of humans, when a team of researchers led by Dr. Per Alberg from Uppsala University re-examined the prints, their findings ignited one of the most contentious discussions in the field of human origin studies. These indentations weren't arbitrary, they were clearly the impressions of a biped, something that, like us, walked upright on two feet. The age of the imprints, which were estimated to be approximately 6.05 million years old, was even more astounding. That predates the idea that there were any upright walkers in Europe and is older than Ardipithecus one of the earliest hominids known to science. Up until that point, it was generally accepted that bipedalism only developed in Africa. However, our tale may have started in Europe rather than Africa if these traces are indeed from a human progenitor or a similarly related species. The Trachylos footprints are difficult to explain. In contrast to apes' grabbing feet, they resemble human feet, complete with a big toe that is in line with the others. However, their timing and location do not align with our current evolutionary models. Are they remnants of an unidentified early hominid branch, or proof of an unimaginable migration event? In any case, the ancient steps on a sun-baked Cretan rock have opened a fascinating new chapter in our search to understand our origins and challenged our preconceived notions. Now, six million years may not sound like 40 million, but here's where things start to get really weird. So, this is most easily explained. Mm. By the way, can you see my little arrow moving here on, on, on the screen? Yeah. On the, on the image, okay, good. So this is most easily explained by, by showing you an actual footprint. So this is one of the best preserved prints from Trachylos. There is a great deal of scientific controversy about the footprints found in 2002 after being disregarded at first. These prints attracted significant attention in 2017. This is over a million years older than Australopithecus afarensis, the species that produced the well-known Lucy skeleton. Lucy has long been regarded as an important link in the evolutionary chain of humans, having been found in Ethiopia and dated to approximately 3.2 million years ago. Lucy and the majority of other early hominid fossils have been discovered in Africa, confirming the widely accepted out of Africa idea. This idea holds that hominins originated in Africa and only subsequently spread to other regions of the world. The Trachylos footprints, however, point to something much more intricate. They were found in Europe rather than Africa. This casts doubt on the notion that early bipedalism, a defining feature of human evolution, originated exclusively in Africa. Many scientists are still wary. Others regard the prints as possible proof that hominin evolution was more geographically widespread than previously believed, while others contend that they might have been created by an extinct ape unrelated to human forebears. Even though the discovery alone doesn't disprove the out-of-Africa theory, it compels scholars to re-evaluate a once obvious story. The roots of human evolution may not be solely in Africa, if early upright walking ancestors were in fact present in Europe more than six million years ago. This is a scientific conundrum that is still being solved, but the deeper scientists dug, literally and metaphorically, the more shocking the implications became. The late Miocene epoch, or roughly 6.05 million years ago, is when the footprints found at Trachylos Crete were preserved in sedimentary rock. Early human-like features were starting to appear during this critical juncture in the evolution of humans. Crete was not an island as it is today in the late Miocene, it was a part of southern Europe and was connected to the Greek mainland. Because it implies that the organism that left these footprints may have resided on the European continent rather than in isolation, this geological fact is crucial. This suggests that the track's creator was a member of a now-extinct bipedal ape lineage that originated outside of Africa. 
Graecopithecus freibergi, a fossil species found in Greece and Bulgaria, has been linked by some scholars. Experts believe that Graeco, who lived about 7.2 million years ago, was an early hominid and may have been the earliest known ancestor in the human lineage. If this link is true, it suggests that characteristics linked to early humans, such standing up straight, might have evolved in Europe either earlier or concurrently with comparable developments in Africa. The conventional wisdom that our forebears arose only on the African continent is called into question by this. This concept is still up for dispute though. More fossil evidence is required to validate such a drastic change in understanding, even though the footprints seem convincing and Graecopithecus is an interesting possibility. However, the possibility that early bipedal primates lived in Europe millions of years ago challenges scientists to consider more broadly. The history of human origins may be much more intricate and linked than previously thought, and it may not even be limited to a single continent. But if all this is true, why hasn't it made front-page headlines or become common knowledge? A basic question at its core is whether early human predecessors may have evolved outside of Africa. The concept is viewed with suspicion, if not open rejection, by many researchers. Decades of fossil discoveries, including well-known specimens like Australopithecus afarensis and Homo habilis, all discovered on the African continent, provide credence to the prevalent out-of-Africa theory. It would be a challenge to a long-standing scientific consensus to suggest a different origin in Europe. Critics have brought up a number of issues. Some contend that the tracks might not even be from a hominin, but rather from another species whose gait appears to be similar. Some people doubt the dating technique's accuracy in determining the prince's age. The repercussions would be greatly diminished if the timeline were incorrect. Fossils, it might be very hard to tell which lineage, in fact, they belong to. Yeah. Um, However, the study team under the direction of Dr. Per Alberg and Associates has rigorously analyzed and defended their work. The footprints have been thoroughly examined using high-resolution 3D scans, which have shown anatomical characteristics consistent with upright walking. The estimated age of 6.05 million years has also been confirmed by geological examinations of the sediment layers. The group is adamant about its conclusions. We are seeing a typical scientific conflict where long-held hypotheses are being challenged by paradigm-shifting findings. In paleoanthropology, where every new finding has the potential to change certain aspects aspects of our evolutionary history, such discussions are not new. It is yet unknown if the footprints pose a serious threat to the out-of-Africa idea. However, they have unquestionably raised new concerns, encouraging researchers to continue examining every avenue about the location and method by which our oldest ancestors first learned to walk. Still, whether you're a skeptic or a believer, one thing is clear, these footprints have opened a door that can't be closed. There are significant ramifications if the Trachylos footprints are those of an early human ancestor. It would imply that our evolutionary past is a much more complex web of origins, migrations and extinctions rather than a single straight path leaving Africa. The notion that upright walking monkeys evolved in more than one location, not just Africa, but also areas of Europe, would have to be added to the conventional model of human evolution. This casts doubt on the notion of a single cradle of humanity. Rather, it implies a dispersed mosaic of hominin populations, some of which would have independently acquired comparable features or shared ancestry before going extinct without leaving behind substantial fossil evidence. Even while such lineages may have vanished before directly influencing the rise of Homo sapiens, their tale is still an important one in the larger human history. We are forced to acknowledge the extent of our ignorance regarding our own ancestry by the Trachylos Prince. Numerous chapters of our evolutionary history may still be hidden beneath sediments, waiting to be unearthed, fossils are uncommon, and preservation is selective. Might there be other footprints, or perhaps skeletal remains, hidden in other parts of Europe or in unexpected locations? In the end, this discovery challenges us to rethink the human tale as a spreading, branching tree, with roots that might extend farther and in more directions than we had previously thought. It serves as a reminder that, like the species it studies, science is constantly changing. And occasionally, it only takes a few old stone steps to rock the foundations of our presumptions. These ancient steps, which have been preserved in granite for more than six million years, raise the possibility that upright walking may have originated outside of Africa. Our past may be deeper and more geographically complicated than we ever thought, despite the fact that certain early estimations and more general claims, such as timelines dating back 40 million years, remain conjectural and the subject of intense discussion. How much have we missed? 
This revelation opens the door to an exciting but scary potential. Is it possible that other petrified bones, footprints or prehistoric artifacts are still concealed beneath soil and rock layers, ready to reveal tales we haven't yet imagined? Because it is influenced by chance and circumstances that favor only the rarest preservation, the fossil record is inherently imperfect. This implies that important parts of our past might still exist, buried in remote regions of the globe. Because in paleoanthropology, a single step in the right direction can literally change the course of human history. The past frequently reappears when we least expect it to. And when it does, it serves as a reminder of how much more we still don't know, in addition to challenging what we already know. We might find much earlier evidence concealed beneath Earth's layers as cutting-edge dating techniques and new technologies like ground-penetrating radar develop. These imprints might mark the start of a series of findings that fundamentally alter how we think about evolution. What else is out there, buried beneath cold seas or locked in forgotten soil? What do you have to say about this? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.